Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're back on the attraction series videos. I took a, a little bit of a break from doing this series simply because there's lots of theme park news to cover, but now it's a little bit slower, so we're back to it, and this time we're getting doing the Matterhorn. This is a ride I've gotten requested for a lot um, to do as part of my history videos, as well as a whole long list that I have other Disneyland rides to do for the history video, so I'm excited to be talking about the Madhorn. So let's get to it. The Madhorn is the first tubular still continuous track roller coaster on the world. It was built er, in the world. It was built by Arrow, Arrow Development, and was located between Tomorrowland and Fantasyland, or is located between Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. It employs, like a lot of things at Disneyland, a forced perspective to seem larger. Some during construction of the park, Dirt from the excava excavation of Sleeping Beauty's Castle moat was piled in the area between Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. When the park opened, they, the guests dubbed this area, or they dubbed, or Disney dubbed this area Holiday Hill, later known as Lookout Mountain, and eventually had benches and parkways, and it was a nice little picnic area. Now, when the Disneyland, Disneyland Skyway opened in 1956, Walt Disney had the idea of a toboggan ride on a mountain, or on the mountain, Holiday Hill, with real snow. But the, logis the, the logistics were just too much. Um, according to Dis Disneyland construction chief Joe Fowler. And then this the hill went from another name, went from Holiday Hill to Lookout Mountain to Snow Hill. Unfortunately, Instead of people picnicking there, a lot of teenagers and young adults um, were getting a little freaky on the hill, and it got the uh, nickname of Lover's Lane, um, and of course, Disney did not like that. It's also of note that new Wild Mouse style coasters were really starting to pop up at this time, and uh, really got the attention of Disney, because those are kind of family style coasters. And Disney executives were thinking of making a toboggan-themed Wild Mouse coaster at the site. The structure was also going to be intended as a decorative overlay to camouflage the central pylon of the Sky Skyway, because those Skyway pylons, as you see from that old foot video footage, were uh, quite, quite uh, what do you call it, an eyesore at times. Ma um, the use of the Matterhorn, both in the style and name, grew from Walt Disney's extended vacation in Switzerland. As most people, most hardcore Disney fans would know, he's filming the third man on the mountain. Uh, and then, in the moment of inspiration, he, in he got inspired by the real Matterhorn. He just wanted to make the ride off the Matterhorn, which this toboggan ride concept. Um, for bobsled coaster on the Matterhorn. The peak, uh, let's see, the peak was first shown in the con in a conceptual drawing that was once on display at the Disney Gallery. As I mentioned before, this coaster was built uh, built by Aero Development and Wa uh, Wed Imagineering, and it consisted of wooden still infrastructure surrounded by man-made rock. And starting in 1961, during the holiday season, a revolving star stood atop the Matterhorn, which is quite nice and something we don't have here in the Matterhorn today. In the 1970s, the ride was officially made part of Fantasyland, but this was a prelude to more significant changes. In 1973, the, the revolving star was uh, at the top of the Matterhorn was removed, in part because of the 1970. 1973 oil crisis had hit the United States. In 1978, the Matterhorn received a major refurb. One of its first, I think that may have been its first major refurb. The hollow interior space was broken up into a number of small icy caves to make it more thematic and also more thrilling. And the tunnels were also yeah, more, far more convincing theming. Some holes in the mountain skin were filled as well, including two large openings at the top of the lift, of the lift hill that had allowed guests to briefly glimpse the entire southern part of the park. Then came the abominable snowman, good old Harold, and he'd taken residence in the mountain 
and there's actually three heralds there's three different audio animatronic figures that roar at the bobsledders the first is vis- visible from both the tracks at the point i wish they divide to take separate paths the other two are visible only from their respective tracks and you got everyone who loves the matterhorn knows what i'm talking about because they appear towards the end of the ride in uh, their own separate icy cave. The each track now also features a pair of red eyes that glow on the lift hill when um, after the roar is ho- heard. These roars can be heard from ground level as well, even over the recorded howling of the alpine wind. The bobsleds bob themselves were also changed from original flat luge like multi color two seaters. To the rounder white cars decorated with orange and white stri- orange and red stripes, the classic Matterhorn change before they were changed again in 2012. The Bob says change from a single car to two cars connected to one another to form a nice train. Following the closure of the Skyway 94, 1994 that is, the holes through which the Skyway buckets had traveled were partially filled in. You can see you can kind of see them open right now, but they're mostly filled in. And of course, as we all know, in modern times, the Matterhorn temporarily temporarily closed at the beginning of the year in 2012 for a six-month refurb that includes the new trains that we've seen today. Now, it's time to talk about the timeline of this awesome attraction. Okay, so breaking down the timeline year by year and decade by decade. Starting in 1956, that is just one year after the park was opened, while Disney that's the year Walt Disney conceived I, that idea for a toboggan style roller coaster inside of the Hollow Mountain. Construction began for the Matterhorn in 1958. In 1959, the Matterhorn and the Bobheads opened as with the Disneyland Monorail Submarine Voyage, and they all had their 60th anniversary just a few years ago. In May 1960, 1964, a 15 year old boy from Long Beach, California, named Mark Maples. It was injured on the Ant Matterhorn after he stands up in his bobsled cart and falls out. Man, can you imagine happening that today? That's why you have the yellow strap. It was reported that his restraint was undone by his ride companion. Foolish. Unfortunately, he died as a result of his injuries three days after the incident. And that counted as Disneyland's first fatality, so it took eight years, so, or nine years to get Disneyland's first fatality. In the early 1970s, the, Bat- the Matterhorn Bobsets is officially made part of Fantasyland. In 1978, Matterhorn received its first refurb, by which the Imagineers make the smaller caves and tunnels and more theming, and the new trains, and Harold. In 1984, January 3rd, a 48-year-old one- woman from Fremont, California named Dolly Young is decapacitated when she is thrown from a bobsled car struck on it by an incoming bobsled. Investigation reveals that her seatbelt was not buckled, though the report does not indicate whether the seatbelt was deliberately unfastened or malfunctioned. And that stems from the famous Disney legend, Dolly's Drop, on the left side of the track. For more on that, definitely look it up. It's a very interesting story. In 1994, the Skyway closes and the Matterhorn openings are filled in, partially filled in. Glimmering crystals in the Wells Expedition Crate are added at the beginning of the ride. Frank Wells, unfortunately, died in a helicopter accident coming back from Switzerland. So, that is definitely a nice homage to Frank Wells in the Matterhorn. January 9th, 2012 is when the Matterhorn closed for a six-month refurb. That included a new outside fixture of the mountain and new trains with different restra- restraints. The modern current trains we see today. June 15, 2012 is when the Matterhorn reopened for the summer season. January 5, 2015, the Matterhorn closes for its most recent refurb. Or not most recent, but its most recent major refurb. Actually, no, uh, one of them. That included a projected image, projected image of the abominable snowman at the top of the lift tilt and an updated animatronic of it. May 22, 2015, the Matterhorn Bob says reopens as part of Disneyland's 60th innovation, uh, 60th anniversary celebration, the Awesome Diamond Celebration, one of my favorite celebrations here at the Disney at the Disneyland Resort. April 28th, 2017, the Fast Pass is added to the Maya Horn Bob says, and the lines, the standby line, doubled in size. Of course, July 8th, 30th, 2018, the Matterhorn Bob says 
closed for this is its most recent renovation when it opened in November 16th with a nice new outdoor queue that doesn't make you wait for most of it along the mountain but it has a beautiful new sign and consists of lots of switchback lines and more trees. What is your favorite part about the Matterhorn? And is this your favorite ride, one of your favorite rides at the Disneyland Resort? Let me know your favorite memory in the, of, of Matterhorn below. Also, comment what other Disneyland rides or any theme park rides do you want me to do a uh, history on I have as part of my attraction history series. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.